The total state prison commitment for Mr. Williams is 71 years, four months to life. Thank you. My involvement with the running club gives me the ability to impact lives in a way that I cannot as a judge. I came all the way right here. And I started shooting at them, and when they both fell, I, I knew I hit them. I got arrested, I got out of jail, and then I just drank as much as I could, hoping to die. Well, this is what I used to call home. Climbing in and out of a hole on a regular basis like it's perfectly normal. One horrendous act does not define a person in his or her entirety. I started out with just a few runners. They learned very quickly that you do not run a full marathon without a lot of training. I knew I had found another passion that I was running. Ready to rock and roll. Giving someone from Skid Row an opportunity to come to a glorious city is incredibly empowering. It's such a big deal being here. Whatever sacrifices I have made to make this possible, it's worth it. <laughs> Can you explain what is this? Why are you not answering? ज्यादातर मैंने ये देखा है की मतलब इतनी छूट नहीं है लड़कियों के लिए जॉब कर सके या फिर कुछ कर सके इंडिपेंडेंट हो सके एक मशीन लग रही है काठी खेरा में सुना है आपने इसके बारे में आई एम मॉर्गन फ्रीमन प्लीज ज्वाइन मी इन सपोर्टिंग मेक अ हीरो Some heroes may not be able to lift their legs, but they do have the remarkable ability to lift the spirits of everyone around them. Make a hero, helping individuals with disabilities enjoy the freedom of sports. The movement, the award-winning film from Make a Hero, narrated by Robert Redford and Warren Miller. This is the story of movement. It's about finding that turning point when physical disability is no longer a limitation, but a part of your character. To learn more, visit makeahero.org. What makes you smile? Genuinely smile. What do you do in life that silences the noise of the daily grind? Through working with the Jimmy Miller Memorial Foundation, it's a unique ocean therapy program to the veterans of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, as well as the U.S. Marine Corps Wounded Warrior Battalion West. The Jimmy Miller Foundation combines occupational and recreational therapies with a the sport of surfing and healing environment of the ocean. It was such an adrenaline rush, an amazing feeling. I caught one big wave, and I was so stoked about it. It felt really good to ride it all the way to the shore. and um it was amazing the ocean is an amazing healing power once they get out into the water their whole demeanor changes their shoulders drop they open up the smiles are real <laughs> we are trying to take a more holistic view away from the anxiety meds away from the depression meds away from the drugs uh and really focus more on what you can do to help yourself your mental health your physical health and surfing here is just it combines everything all in one wild horses the ultimate i read i step in you can break and some you can't <laughs> 
Dane Capo is an extraordinary artist. His specialty, colorful portraits. John Lennon, George Harrison, Marilyn Monroe, Frida Kahlo, David Bowie, Abraham Lincoln. It says early on it was clear something about Dane was different. Seizures began at 10 months old. Soon, he'd be diagnosed with epilepsy. At age five, doctors diagnosed autism. He struggled in regular school, so Krista pulled him out. After spending five years in a school that told him he couldn't do this, and he couldn't do math, and he couldn't read. Dane started homeschooling in Hermosa Beach. Krista hired a teacher who asked Dane to try art. This painting of artist Henri Matisse is Dane's first ever attempt at artwork. That's painting number one. That's a Dane's original pieces are now selling for up to $6,000 on danecapo.com, where he's also selling bags and even art on socks. I would, I never, ever, ever dreamed of this. Dane's term goal, a sustainable life for her son and a change in the way others see young people with disabilities. Everybody is capable of something. I really, really, truly believe that. In order for some of us to wake up, we need a wake-up call. I've been living with chronic pain. I was diagnosed with lupus, MS. My right side of my body was paralyzed. I have a brain tumor. The stresses are 24-7, 365. So the net result is illness and disease. We have a sick care system where doctors and insurance companies are basically treating symptoms but aren't really getting to root causes. They leave with every kind of medication. Which then has a side effect, and so you basically become a victim twice. Okay, so believe the diagnosis. Now you can do something about it, but don't believe the prognosis. In a way, we have more faith in the power of cancer to kill us than we have faith in the power of miracles, the power of infinite possibility. The body has a capacity to heal that I was never informed of as a medical student or resident. The best science of our time is now showing that every organ in the human body has the ability to heal itself. What we see here is belief itself shifts biology. So if I change my perception, I change the signals that are adjusting the function of the cell. The power of belief is, it's almost everything. Your body loves you, it loves you unconditionally. It doesn't matter how long you've been sick, you can heal. These symptoms are brilliantly intelligent in waking us up. This life is as beautiful or as terrible as you make it. The Buddha said that every man and woman is the architect of their own healing. And that intelligence that's giving us life, it is the greatest healer in the world. All we have to do is get out of the way. I just want you to know that I will be here. I won't be here until the day you don't want me here, but I will be here. I'm so proud of you. You are going to be an inspiration to the world, and you inspire me. So I appreciate you. I thank you for letting me help you and be your friend and your mentor. Like, I don't know where I would be if like, like I wasn't sitting right here with you. Like I'm so happy that I have you and I'm able to say that you are one of my best friends. And I'm very happy that I've been able to experience some of the best moments of my life with you. Um, and I'm really happy that I just know you. Yeah. I love you, honey. I love you. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. 
First things first, it's not just about food. Kunena zona sinkani asha kuja. It's about people. El hambre es un problema humano. Ndipo kuitetsa kwake ndikofunika kusintha momwe dziko lokugwirira nchito. Tikunena zobiditsa batsogolo moyo odzirenekesa. Apto nirwa shulota khuda mukti. Standing up for justice. Taking courageous actions in the face of hatred and oppression. Kulimbikitsa kutetsa magwatana. Stewarding our natural environment. Using sustainable farming methods that are resilient to climate change. Tugune na zaku pozita, kuma sogo nete zaku diari nse alindi mwa yopozira. Amra jani, amra pori puno. Amra shoma nishida. Kuzindi kila kuri mtuali yese alindi luso udindo ndi kutegera kuti akale odzidalira kurenga mbali otetsa njara ukusonyeza umodzi watu unleashing our human spirit for the world we want dzigo lomwe nkazi mwamuna ndi mwana akukhala mwe watanzi odzidalira ndi odzilemekeza being part of this global movement to end hunger is life changing. Together we will do this. <laughs>